What's up everyone, this is Easy. You're watching Easy Street Gaming. Home of brutal age. This is for some of the beginners. This is how to improve your partners right now. Alright, calm down. Gotta get your mind right for this because there's a lot of steps involved in, in the partner game. We'll start off at number 10. Build on solid ground. You're gonna have you're gonna start off with a lot of two and three star partners. I see a lot of people make big mistakes on who they want to build first just because they end up getting them first. Uh, as far as two stars, I would start off with the Red Tree Man because he's going to be a beast later on. Three stars, here's Red Blonde Beauty. She's a power attacker, single target attacker. I have the pluses and minuses. They all have some pluses and minuses. For three stars, Boar, it's kind of rare, but all three of them are pretty good at, at three star as you're starting out. They're all defensive partners. They have slow attacks though. If that's the, if that's the minus. Uh, if you're gonna start off blue being the best, and then green will be the best once you get it uh, level 40. And maybe the best three-star partner, the green dragon man. He does a team speed boost. Same exact strength at level one as at level 40. And some other strong three stars. Red zero has some big attacks. Low health though. Great third awakening skill. Bear paw. He's got high health, high attack. Also a single target attacker. And then the Berserker, all three are okay, but the Berserker is another kind of elite three star. He's going to be your healer. Don't use the blondes as healers. Number nine, learn about war patterns. This is something that you can't skip over. You can't just wing it. Every partner has their favorite war pattern. Once you're, you've been playing for a while, you realize that certain partners react differently to different war patterns. You might think it's okay to use a certain war pattern, but ask around. Now you can actually go to the Brood X. It's in the, I just clicked on it right here. It's, it's in the top right of your partner page. And you can actually click on any one of the partners that you have. And you can click on their armor or their war pattern. And it will show you, eventually it will show you what the most popular war pattern is for them. I am that slow in real life too. So as you can see here for the the green desert prince 80 percent of the people out there use saya and wolf and now also remember each each position in the war pattern left hand right hand or left arm right arms head helmet chest and both feet they all want specific things so you, you if you're a new player join a clan ask your clan mates um, look at the leaderboard see see how they're loading everyone up It's really important that you pay attention to all this stuff. Also, you can go into on Sundays. We have the uh, the partner arena and They show all the elite partners. You can actually click on those partners as they're as they're fighting and you can see how the, the Developer team loads them as far as what armor that what war patterns to use and exactly what the best partners are One of my favorite God of Earth There's a lot of hints inside their description, so make sure you read all three of their of their skills. And some of them will say uh, better with that high attack, better with high defense. Now, this is something that a lot of people have a hard time doing, but make sure you sell all your three and four star war patterns. A lot of people want to hang on to them at first because that's all they're getting is three and four star. I, I'm going to tell you it's better to save the soul. For the five star war patterns, you're gonna get them real soon. It usually takes about two weeks to get start getting five star, and they are that much better than the four star in the long run. Remember, it seems simple at first, but there's no tactical placement of the partners in the match. What we do comes before the battle, and believe it or not, there's a lot. There's a lot of details. There's a lot of specific things you have to pay attention to. Every stat on every war pattern contributes to the win or the loss. If you don't use the correct war pattern, it really hurts a lot. Uh, if you use the wrong ability on the on the head or on the hands, forget winning these high level matches. You might win at first, but once you get into the higher levels, you won't be able to win, and you'll have to rebuild everything way later on. So it, it would be a good idea to try to learn all this stuff right up front if you're going to dedicate so much time in this game. It does not take a few minutes a day. It takes a long time to play. You might as well try to get everything right to, to begin with. Number seven, don't upgrade weak war patterns. 
I've helped a lot of players with war patterns. The biggest mistake everyone makes is they try to upgrade weak, weak war patterns. And what I'm basically talking about is you have plus war patterns. And then you have percentage war patterns. Now there are times where you can use plus and it's better than percentage. I'm going to show you right now. Uh, the top three, the arms and the head. We want to use percentage war patterns unless their basic skills are very low. And now how does this work out? Let's just say right now uh, we have the Bally. His basic hit point health is 1,200 in this example. So in this example, 12% uh, hit point would be plus 444. But yet the, the plus hit point at level 12 is plus 1530. So in this case, the plus hit point war pattern would be better than the hit point percentage. So in rare cases, it is better to use plus than the percentage, but in most cases, it's going to be like this case here with the Blue Nomad, very popular partner. Um, the statistics on one of mine at level 12, he has hit point percentage, which is a plus 37%, which gives him a bonus of 4,958. And then if we would use the plus hit point, he would get 1,500. So a huge difference with the, with the high health partners. So if the partner doesn't have much health to begin with, I, I think even Bally gets over over 1,200. So, yeah, but just an example. <laughs> so yeah, you might want to break out the, the number two pencil and the and the pad of paper to figure out what would be better. Number six. Now this might be sound a little repetitious, but it's th it's that important. Don't use anything but five star war patterns. I'm going to show you the difference between a, a four star and a five star war pattern. These are both at level 12, so they're both at the first stage of, of the purple. And uh, the, the attack on the four star is at 82. The attack of the five star is going to be at 99. It may not seem like a huge difference, but it really does play out as a big difference as you, as you move forward. A big difference. And matter of fact, remember they have five statistics on it. All five will be lower on the four star. It may only be lower by a few points, but those few points really add up. And you'll see here I'm selling every single war pattern that's gray. That means it only has one skill on it. The only thing I'll save with one skill sometimes is the left hand uh, plus speed. Plus speed is probably your best war pattern. Beginners, collect five star war patterns from adventure, lonely warrior rallies, clan hunts, war pattern events. Read all three skills for your partner. Look at the suggested war patterns in the brood X. Look at the leaders of your server and see how they dress the partner. You click on your face up there in the upper left and you can go and look at the, the, the leaders. Advanced players sell all, all single stat five star patterns and sell the plus hit point, plus attack, plus defense in the top three slots, the head and arms, even if they're green or blue at level zero. Uh, the more, lo the more level one gold and purple patterns you have, the better. And you'll be amazed at the difference between the gold and purple and a regular war pattern. What makes the gold and pur purple war pattern so good? First, let's say if it's purple, you'll know all the skills right up front. You'll know every single thing that it will offer. And then at level three, six, nine, and 12, you'll get extra upgrades. So you'll see here, here's a purple on the left. Here's a blue on the right. And you can just, if you want to pause, you can just look at the statistics at, at level 15. You have all of these uh, lower statistics that get a bump up. Uh, now you do have two of them on the right hand side that get a bump up too, but you're talking the difference between five and two, so it's a huge difference, four and two. Number five, artifacts. They're a vital part of the partner game. If you've ever fought a max level blue nomad, and you're not able to kill him because he's got uh, he's, he's got the brutal seal and he's got his own basic ability to, to heal himself it's almost impossible to kill him you have to you have to attack him with four people now if you follow these two rules you'll improve your overall partner effectiveness one use a brutal shield on high health partners use a brutal horn on high damage partners that's very important to do and uh, only roll times 10 golden turtles and donate the first time 10 spin to the altar then donate your second times 10 spins to your artifacts. Constantly switch back and forth. Donate 10, or however many you get as 3 stars to the altar, then do donate them to the artifacts. Number 4, you have to awaken your partners. People don't take this, not, they do now, but a lot of people didn't take this seriously at first. The skill you get when you awaken the partners is just phenomenal. Um, by the third awakening, all partners will eventually have 6 awakenings. Some of them only have 3 right now. 
But at the third awakening, you'll, you'll have monumental changes in the partner. And uh, at the fifth awakening, the class of the partner uh, will start to take effect. The, and you'll have human partners. They're different from the dragon partners, from the undead, from the nature or the ocean partners. And there's a few others out there too. Uh, what happens then is they start having uh, automatic things happen at the beginning of the match. And then every two or three rounds, automatic things happen again. So these are really, really big uh, advantages that you have. The third awakening, you're going to need one of these three things a pair of fierce beasts, double blade girls, or marksmen. So, your three stars will need the fierce beast, your four stars will need the double blade girl, your five stars will need the marksman. You're going to need a pair, and I believe it's the restraining color. So, if you have a red five star, you're going to have to use the green five star um, marksman. Don't use any of these partners that I'm showing you here. Don't use them to upgrade other, uh, other partners. Don't use them. I, I, I don't even upgrade them at all anymore. I don't have any marksmen in, in my. Uh, I don't use them. I only use them to awaken. They're that important. It's that hard to get them sometimes. You have to use so many of them over time that you ha have to save them all. So, getting into the top three, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make build proven teams or team types. Invest the time into learning the best teams for your partners. Let's start off with the stun team. Uh, Personally, I like to use the Blue Shaman, Red Guard of Earth, Green Desert Prince, and then I use several others with them. You see them all listed down here. I was actually using the cursor of my computer to show you, and you can't see that. That's how dumb I am sometimes. <laughs> speed teams. Th these usually use Cat War Pattern, Left Hand Speed as a first skill. Uh, they also use their leader skills of speed, and the, I have a couple of, of the, the speed leaders there on the left. There's other partners that are built for speed. They get advantages for speed, and they just they react excellently to it. Also, you guessed it, the Green Dragon Man with his Wild Roar skill. Remember, even starting off at level 1, that Wild Roar is going to be just as effective as level 40. And he is an elite partner. You'll see him used all the way up in ranked matches in the top 50 or whatever. Uh, another team is called the Slow Team. It's a powerful counter to the speed teams. You'll have to have the Green Nomad King, and it's going to take a little while to get him, possibly. His passive skill actually slows every single partner down to his speed. So there's no need to use speed in your war patterns. You can use attack in your left hand. And that'll give you a big advantage there. Last team that we're going to mention is the Little Red Ghost team. You get Little Red Ghost from the Fire, Fire, Fire Frost event. Jeez. He's a revive partner and he does an amazing job. You use him with the Red Nomad. Make sure Red Nomad has the lowest health hit point on the, on the team. And now I know these are pretty specific partners, but use it with either Red Colonel or Red Yellow. They both do a, a, a buff for the team right at the very beginning. That will help protect everyone. And then you have the Shielder, either the, uh, the Red Drummer or the Green Catfish, which I didn't even put up there on the screen. Two, spin as many Golden Turtles as you can. This is actually a very, very big point. Um, I average about 10 a day. Uh, and I'm addicted to them as well. Uh, you need as many partners as you can. You get that by spinning those turtles. And at last, the number one way to improve your partner play is to create a partner manufacturing system. Every good player has their own system. Every day, use all of your adventure energy. Uh, use one established partner to lead the battles. Two three-star partners, at least two. Uh, to, and get them all to level 25. And a four-star to round it out. It's just easier that way. What you want to do is you want to continue to make as many three-star partners into level one four-star. You do that by getting to level 25 and then going to the altar and putting three fresh three-stars with it to make a four-star. You see, I just average day, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six three-stars as four-stars. I got a couple more on the way. It's vital that you constantly, constantly keep your three stars bumping up to four star then you'll make your four stars you'll you'll get it to level 30 and then you'll make as many four stars into five stars and then you'll do the same thing with five stars into six stars it's a long process it seems complex but it's just something you'll do every day if you incorporate that into your actual gameplay every day then you will have better partners i can i'll guarantee it appreciate everyone for watching please like leave comments subscribe to the channel Almost 2020, three years in a row, number one in brutal age. Unbelievable. So, appreciate everyone for watching. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.